Hello there, and as usual, I'm here from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at another amazing ship from the Steam Workshop. Now, this is the Allegiant by Piz.deck, and I have to say, this is an absolute amazing piece of design. It's got a beautiful combination of colors. It's using a number of slope blocks that is sloped with the rotors, and there's just some fine detail in areas that just made me go... Wow, this, this designer has really thought out every aspect. And we'll do the usual. We'll start on the exterior and we'll work our way inside. So the first thing I want to draw your attention to is the front of the ship. So we've got this overhang section that almost feels like it's housing a railgun. You've got this lovely light sort of bar that strips across there. And down in the center here, we actually have four rocket launchers mounted. And with the beautiful visual effects, when I get in this thing, I'll fire it. And it just looks absolutely stunning. A little bit further down, we've got ourselves some deconstructed blocks. And you'll see a lot of advanced builders using this technique to just create a little bit more detail with blocks that are semi-constructed. You can see how we've... Added the rotor parts on there as well as some lighting. He's just created that really nice antenna module. A little bit further back, you can see he's done another similar thing here, creating just another element of detail using some blast door blocks as well as some oxygen generators. So it's both a functional and a very nice visually pleasing sort of piece. Now, if we move a little bit further up, you can see he's done a number of cuttings into the design. I'm always talking about this, and it creates a lot of depth, but these are not just any cuttings. Look how he's actually angled the cutting as well. So from a different angle, you can see how the shape sort of changes. You can see how we've got that slope on that particular area, and these are just standard sort of cuttings. But from a distance, they're adding that detail, that level of sort of shadow that creates a lot of effect within your design. So something you really want to think about if you're building your own sort of ship. So as we come up to this area, you can see this is one of the first slope panels. And when you look at this as part from the distance, you think this is maybe just a standard block that's been sloped. But no, it's actually been connected up with our rotary block there. And that's allowed it for turrets to be attached at that particular angle. And you can just see some of the detailing that's been going on in this particular area as well. Now as we come a little bit further back on the upper deck, something I really like here is how he's staggered the actual thrusters out with these ramps and stairs so you can see it's just added a little bit more detail a bit more venting and then we've got the red rib going across the top just a really nice little design as well as these a little indents he's put to expose some of the interior blocks just creating another level of detail you really need to think about this when you design a ship so moving a little further back we've got ourselves the weapons area so we've got the rocket pods on either side as well as two gatling guns there and we also have the manually controlled turret that is awesome fun so we'll go a little further back, we come down to the main central area of the hull. So this part hasn't got any sloped armor actually attached to it. But you can see we've got another one of these cool little rocket turrets stuck to the side and some extra firepower there for you. So as we come into this area, you can see some more detail and venting on the engine. So you can imagine this giving off a lot of heat, just getting rid of it into space and whatnot. So you can see we've got the actual rotors connecting that up. A two rotor design, but this is also a rotor that has a conveyor built in so it can actually feed the rocket launcher. And you can imagine that that rocket launcher on this wing here is going to be able to really provide some extra angle of fire support to the enemy. So you can see how it's connected up them individual conveyors underneath and also supported them with that nice little beam at the back there just create a little bit more detail and can you imagine that it needs some support to actually move so we're now moving on to the engine bay cells so there's one on either side and they kind of remind me a little bit of a star wars s pod racer type engine design we've actually got the iron thruster at the top then we've got this beautiful indent some more thrusters and you can see that we've got that ribbon and then sort of support section in the middle using them sort of blast armored slabs but it's just really nice. There's just some really nice thought going into each part of the detail. So you can see we've got these beautiful little pillars running across the top. And we've got the engines housed in here. Now this is both functional and beautiful or very aesthetic as well. Because you can see how the engines are now protected. But at the same time, they can just chill in there. So as we come around the back, we need, of course, to get away or advance towards the enemy quite quickly. And it's inserted two large hydrogen thrusters in the center. And then we've got standard iron thrusters on the side. So we don't have to be using that hydrogen up for just general cruising that I quite like the idea about. And also we've got a connection port on the back there so we can do some quick docking as well as enter the ship from that section. But we're actually going to enter the ship from the hangar bay. Now, what I really like about this hangar bay it is extremely functional. We've not actually got ourselves any doors on the side here, so you could quickly fly yourself in. Obviously, it gives you a bit vulnerable to attack in case an enemy ship wants to do that, like in Star Wars and whatnot. But you can see we've got the welders on either side here, so we can quickly weld up a design if we need to, as well as a luxury catwalk above, so we can observe the various ships being welded up and sent out into action. Very nice. And as well as the oxygen generators that we've got there, in that particular section so first off let's go towards the front of the ship where there isn't too much so we just got engineering in this section 
so I'll drop my legs in. But you'll notice just how detailed the actual interior is. You can see how he's got them thrusters vented up through the side that we can actually see and they glassed off so we can actually seal ourselves in here. And then we've got the various interior tunnels that are going to protect us. But still a very simple interior, but look how much detail has been done. I cut down blocks on the ceiling in the lower area and the blast door blocks there just just creeping over the side it's it's a lot of detail in a very compact interior something i really do like and this is of course access to the catwalk area above here so in case you didn't want to run through the hangar and possibly get hit by a fighter you've got an ability to just run over the top that i do really quite like and then we run ourselves down another once again very compact interior but with a lot of detailing going on one of the issues I always notice when I'm building ships, if I build an interior that's too small, is working out where to actually put anything. But just look at this, we've got the hygiene tanks on either side, supported with little beams, little details, and we've got other systems in the background. I can't even see what that is. Is that, is that some sort of furnace in the background, perhaps? So you can see we've also got the button panel in here for the reactor, and that is the auto repair system. So there we go. We've got some sort of system that if the damage... If the, oh, I think this... Yeah, there we go. So you can actually see there is welders tucked away on the inside. So if the reactor becomes damaged in a fight, you can activate the auto repair and get straight back into the action. Something I do really like. I like that feature. That's definitely something that would come in handy in any sort of fight. Anyway, let's take a look at the bridge. And to just do this a little bit faster, I'm just going to move myself up into this area and drop myself here at the back. So we've got an idea of what it's like to access the ship from the rear landing pad and the executive sort of area. So as we enter into here, we've got another very tiny interior and it raises up into this section here where we have the bridge. So very nice indeed, you can see we've got the acceleration, the speed and the stopping distance. So if we give that this ship a quick handling test, see how the speed, the acceleration and the distance actually increases, that's very handy. But just look how beautiful this ship moves through space itself. It just feels like it, it groans, but it's not got super amounts of maneuverability. But it's just got enough to make it feel or you kind of respect it as a large ship. So let's um, slow ourselves down, equip our weapons. So you can see that's the sort of firepower that we've got going forward. It looks beautiful. Absolutely lovely. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. It's been an absolute beautiful ship to have a look at. Check out the description. Make sure to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button as well. And I will see you next time.